closet from a play I was in once. I put them on because they reminded me of last week's Bible story and made me feel full of peace. Bah! We got another message from a friend who lives in a totally different place in the world called Japan. Can you say that with me? Japan! Japan! Let's check it out! Merry Christmas, Callie! What do you like to eat on Christmas Eve? My family likes to eat fried chicken. A lot of people here in Japan like it too. It's the yummiest. Okay, bye bye! Isn't that a cool tradition? My family eats ham usually. But I love fried chicken! So, I got a bucket of fried chicken so that I could celebrate Christmas just like Elijah and his family. Friends, Elijah lives in a place that is on the complete other side of the world and he also knows about Jesus and celebrates Christmas. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna chew in some fried chicken while we check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story begins with Jesus' mom and dad on a journey again. Jesus wasn't a baby anymore, though. He was 12 years old and walking beside Mary and Joseph, Jesus' dad. They were going to a festival, which is like a big party. The party was in a town called Jerusalem. When the festival was over, they headed home. But Jesus' parents couldn't find Jesus anywhere. They looked everywhere with no luck. So they began to go back to Jerusalem. And there Jesus was. They found him in a place where all the very smart people were. These were people that knew the most about God. This place was called the temple. Even though Jesus was just a boy, he understood just as much as they all did. People were amazed at him. Jesus' parents asked why he had to let them worry. Jesus told them that he had to be in his father's house. They didn't really understand. What father was Jesus talking about? True, Jesus was the son of Mary and Joseph, but he was also the son of God. He wanted to know more about God so he could start telling others about God too. He had to be at the temple because Jesus came so that the world could know God. Friends, have your parents ever given you a job to do? Like pick up toys or books? Jesus was just a kid, but he had a big job. He came so that others might know God. The really cool thing is, that even though we're kids too, we have that same job. We can help others know God by sharing joy, peace, and love with others. It's a good thing I cleared out some space in my tummy because I want to invite you all to something very special. Come on. Every year, our family has a huge Christmas Eve dinner, and we invite everyone from our neighborhood. My mother also says prayer before we eat. She says thank you to Jesus, who came so that we can know God. Jesus came so that others might know God. What is one way that you can help others know God this Christmas? Merry Christmas, friends. It has been fun learning and growing with you. 